What's up guys, this is Rick Light signing in and welcome back to Penumbra Black Plague. I'm going to take this fuse and put it in slot 3 I think. Apparently that doesn't work at all. There we go, don't know what that is at all actually. It won't open the door, seems to have some sort of electronic lock. But what if I move this? Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. That's we released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Okay. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. Oh, that's fucking great, isn't I'm it? still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. You are so British, isn't hmm. real. What else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Presence and accounted for. Did did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. I've already mentioned that. En enough already. My sides are splitting. He sounds well, familiar. I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. Hmm. Decent research. Okay, then let's read this. Toongate virus field notes. Amabel sponsored. Infection process. The worst thing about my job? Death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the old mess hall. Research subjects. Three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of the virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened, they've likened these to be chased through a series, series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle, obstacle course. Those reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force, shortly after which we lose them for good. If these experiences are, as they seem to be, some form of mental re-representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as what might occur with the patients to escape the hallucination. Additional note. Today, Dr. Eminis confided in me that he has just such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Alright, cool. Okay, so... Ah, thank you. Infected. One of them back on the video, they've never actually turned up. So if someone says click to continue, I can actually read it. Okay, then. If we must continue to share this brain space... Fuck! I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature. And yet, I find Fuck. myself at a loss. Any ideas, monkey? Oh! Are we having the darkness reminiscence, are we? Okay, then call me fucking Jack. So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? 3,103 and a half films you've seen? Jesus fucking Christ, memory's huge. You only got the first half of It's a Wonderful Life in here. Oh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. God, we're going fucking crazy. You know, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Clarence, though? Come on, fucking give yourself a game room. The best angel in the world. 
Okay, thank you. That'd be nice. Okay, what we got? There's something blocking on the other side of the door. Be careful what's going on. Well, let's go across the other side. Savage, infected, terrified. And now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Even me. Regardless, I needed to find a way through and into the library. Oh, I just came from here. Whoops! I wanted to go straight across, but it's guess it's locked. See if it jammed or either way, I'm not getting through. Okay, that's dead. Okay, try this door. Dead. Jam shut, locked. Jam shut or locked. Okay. Fucking hate this. Okay, library. That looks weird. Alright. I'm just gonna take this down. It's gonna be needing our little maneuverabilities to peek around these corners. Okay, first open door I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to this. Why I would, I don't know. I think it feels safe in here. Okay, I need to learn how to play Amnesia now because there's probably gonna be a big thing to it. Empty storage boxes! Can I move this board? It's not even a board, it's a mattress. A flare, a toolbox. There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently? No. Can I use that as a weapon? Well, that would have been nice to have. Great. How the fuck's that gonna work? Because I can't fight for shit. Well, that's nice. I'm officially dead on I know. So I'm gonna try and play this game without fucking hiding then. Or whatever it is. Gravity took that one. I went to control. What if can I throw a flare? Hi, how's it going? You got a crowbar. Can I have it? Lisa? Okay, we'll help press the right fucking buttons and sprint out of this place. Oh god! Oh, managed to get away. I want to stand in fire. Well, you are not come through this fucking door, I'm dead. I don't know what this is. Okay, I don't know what that means. It's fucking plenty. Okay, I don't know what I have to do for this. Okay, I'm guessing everything has to be green, right? I'm assuming so. I as well go gap now to figure it out. Because I have no idea how to turn this off. It's stress it's gonna stress me out if I don't have to figure out this out quickly. Okay, that turns that one on and off. This one turns those two on and off. And those two as well. Great. Having it somewhere. Have that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna try and figure out a way over this the easy way, or the hard way, sorry. I'll grab this? I can if I get it. Good. I'm gonna try and like make a platform for myself, I guess. Like if I put these two boxes together, like so, grab this thing and put it on top. Boards work. There we go. Now, can't balance this on there. Now we need something I can uh, 
There seems to be someone lying in that room. What happened to him? I really can't see from here. Right now, from here. I need a little bit more feather backwards next time. More feather. Okay. If I do that again, more feather back. Maybe I should uh, be able to leap for it. It's just this fucking beam board. It's just not a fan of me. Well, I'm not a fan of this, even. Anyway, I've got the center balance now. That's good. Well, that was a lot easier, too. Okay. Let's not touch the red beam this time. Ah! Touch it anyway, fuck. I could do it. I can do it like that. I have to slide one of the boards over first, so I can get through. Okay, that, that, that's fine there, actually. Give me a box, need you on my side. Okay, oh, don't put it too close. Be a bad decision to do. That was fine there. Just try and do this the easy way. I'm trying to do this any possible fucking way I can. Quite tricky to do. Okay, there we go. Whoa. There we go. Is that gonna be. Fuck me! Arrgh! I'm getting through this door, whether I like it or not, I'm getting through this fucking door. I know how to do it. I know I know how to do this. It's obvious. Okay. That still where it should be. Let's move this. Didn't have to count. I didn't have to set the balance. It's okay. Still work with it. Good. I'm getting better and better or closer. There we go. You go on that side. Okay. If I do a little sprint jump. Oh come on! He didn't sprint when I wanted him to sprint. I need that leap. I need that fucking leap. I'm gonna break it. See, the, the better option would be to... Because there's three boxes over there to do it with as well, so there's got to be... This has to be the way of doing it. Put you over there. Let's grab you over here. Fucking need to grab the center balance again. It's okay, alright. Yeah. Very good. We're working with it. Yeah, we should like nicely drop. Thank you. Okay. Look, there we go. It seems, yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just there, you see? It's like molding clay. The fuck? Hate to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Oh great, how that's gonna fucking work then. Why was this purple? Well it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve! What do you mean? Well I'm standing still lets me operate it? Why was this box purple? Okay, it looks like heavy bullet shot. Great. Still don't have to do that. Now, see these barrels are going to be easier to work with. If I can talk. Doing this fucking shit to puzzle again. Got the beam on this side, so that's all good. Got three boxes to bolt myself over. I like how that was actually the way I had to do it. That's actually quite cool. That, that gives me that stuff. Fucking center balance has gone off it. Fuck's sake, I hate when you would like try and get the center balance. Touching anything else fucks it up. Let's have that up there. Very good. Get up this third box. And have that. Whoa. What about there? Now we should be able to use the barrels. 
Nope, fucked it up. Oh well. Right. I knew I was gonna get squished. I knew it. As soon as I, I saw the pressure plate go down, I knew it was gonna be my demise. What the fuck is this box? I knew. I see. I see what I'm gonna do here. The barrels. Oh. Joyous. If I tilt this on the bike, though, it's not going to crush the box, though, is it? I don't know how to fucking rotate shit. Well, to do that. That helps, I guess. Is it T? No, T doesn't do anything. Q? No, Q helps me with the F. F's flashlight. Oh! I have it in two! Fuck that shit! Go down there! All I need for flashlight, Jesus. He's like rotate the barrel somehow. Fuck off you. Yeah. Okay. Will this work? Nope, it hurts me anyway. Okay. How do we do that? How do we do? Can I lift it? It's like heavy and wielded shit. The labels say on these boxes were sent from Alaska. Right, there's, there's gotta be a way then. What if I? Right. Because it's a heavy fucking box. If I. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't say my, cent my center's off. There we go. How do I rotate you, you motherfucker? Come on! Ah, the fucking balance of this shit. Alright, that's good. Can I slide a box in that little gap or not? By this uh, very fine box. Again, counterbalance. Can again, come on, dude. Work with me. There we go. Anything. A little knock, and that is it. So if you want to slide it on top, it's not going to work. Oh god, the other box might actually help us. Auto walk! Why am I auto walking? That's the only thing I hate about this fucking cutting keyboard. Go! Okay. Ah! I see now. Of course. I see, of course, now. Of course. Come on. Can I push it out? Can I lift it? Can I not lift it? Shit. Right. Okay, I actually have no idea what to do with this. Maybe if I get the other barrel, I might be able to place it on the floor and jump up onto the crate. Maybe? No? Alright. I tried. Box on there. That didn't really help with it. Nope. Okay. Put you. Not the side. Put you straight up. Straight up. Not like that, you bell end. What do you do with your life? Straight. Flat. Good. Awesome. Neat. Right, okay. That actually worked. And I didn't think it would. To be honest. The beans will trigger for explosions, so I better stay out of their way. Okay. If I... This box is going to be helpful. For something. Right? This other box. If I stack it correctly. Oh, it's falling. Should be okay. I need a blue barrel. I need a blue barrel. Give me this. I need this up to get back over. I think I need it to get back over at least. Oh, wait, no. I could use the black box. So if I move the black box more close to this thing. I can use the white box to climb over. No matter like what we Never mind. They botched it. Come on! Doofus. Well, that helps me get through. And that helps me get over. I didn't save it. Bollocks. Give me a U barrel. This is very funny. Why, why am I blurring out my vision? Why is my blur, blur vision blurring? Why is my vision blurring? 
that was scary. That was fucking scary. I don't like it. Oh god. Dr. Richard Eminis. Theoretic effects of controlled infection report requested by Overseer Frisk on behalf of the elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage in the project. However, we are to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host without fully taking control of its brain functions. We might observe the following. Fact, translator Lafresque, in his ignored efforts to prevent the re- release of the virus, correctively predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host motor neuron functions. Theory. Where an instance... Were an instance of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that A, the virus seeks to keep its host alive in whatever way possible, suicide would be against the rules, and that B, the virus gains control over the same of or all sensory faculties, facilitating just such an objective. Fact. When the virus infects a host of any species, it adapts the organism's brain functions as best it can to suit its own purposes. Theory. Were the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host's consciousness, effectively preventing a small corner of the host's mind into a form of secondary personality. Fact. The Toon Gate virus was released from, according to Lafresque, a tomb many centuries old. Theory. Were some mental segmentation to occur, it seems plausible to suggest that each personality, the virus and the host, may have ex- access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. It should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains conjuncture and should not be relied upon any archaic protocol. I'm, I'm not you. I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. I need oh, to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I should be with them. I am them. What the there fuck? should be no I. There should be an is or yes. was. This is not the first time. Another was infected. Oh. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. We let him alive. Is he still alive then? Did he call us a disease? That wasn't Red who was talking to. Save point! Every time it's hard to pull out. Every time I feel more myself inside. Alright, so. I'm going to leave that there for today with Penumbra Black Plague. Hopefully that box is falling slowly and it's taking the red tin with it. But... It seems to be working well. That seems to be working well. We're going to try and go through the door, see what we can do. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there for today. And I shall leave you with Infected, not by 12 stones like last time, but instead by I Set to Kill. Again, enjoy. Enjoy.